It's Monday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo <laughs> Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hello, Mariam Longe. Hello, how, how are you? How are you doing? I'm fine, Dr. Mariah. <laughs> how was your weekend? <laughs> My weekend was good. I was at a particular place to celebrate a friend mm. and friends. You know, it was, a, uh, it was such a... You know, when you find people that are recognized and appreciated for what they do, and then they call you to be a part of that um, celebration, it just makes me happy you know so um as you know i'm not going to talk about yours but bc had been given a it's supposed to be your story she was awarded an honorary doctorate degree and she invited me to be there to celebrate with her Aww. i thought it was really sweet of her to have said uh, asked me to join her and congratulations to you and to you both. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about me yes uh, nice nice fantastic how are you doing Chakwe? very grateful um, very busy weekend. Um, keep bringing out all these neck pieces. How many did you buy? How many did this you This is lovely. Get? I love the way it's you really look today. She knows how to, yeah. <laughs> I, Pick them. I decided to do, let me slide so you can see what she's saying in case you did not see it. <laughs> but um, it was, I felt like a more washerish kind of weekend. Like somebody looking for work, you now found work. So I, I volunteered in my church as the head of presentation unit and then I'm a partner with Awesome Treasures Foundation. And this weekend was a busy weekend for me personally. So it was now a case of juggling my um, commitment to these organizations that I know are doing an amazing job and I cannot form too busy because you see other people that have like high ranking, extremely successful people also contributing their time. So it's never going to be easy, but you must, I'm thinking, okay, legacy, what impact do I want to have? And so that was it. Then I had my first TEDx um, TED talk on Saturday. Oh, it's nice. TEDx Jibo. Nice. Um, organized by a 19-year-old young man. He was, wow. And he was able to get Dr. Olomide Emmanuel, a doctor, myself, about three, one other, two doctors. It was a well-planned event. Exactly. And the Haro Edis prosperity. I spoke about my topic, growth. You know, mm -hmm. choose your growth. Everybody can choose their own journey and choose to grow, you know. But, Fantastic. Nice. Looking forward to seeing that, the clip coming out. Yeah. How are you doing, Bissy? How are you doing? Doing amazing. Uh, <laughs> How was your weekend? Our weekend was, as usual, we were being celebrated and mm -hmm. honored with a doctorate in media and philosophy, Dr. B.C. Ugo and Dr. Yeah. Morayo yeah. Afolabi yeah. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so afterwards, we just went to have a lunch, yeah. which, oh, nice. you know, lingered because we we're discussing, arguing, talking. Everybody <laughs> there is a talkative on that table. We just had fun and we left so nice. at night. And yesterday I had to do a product shoot because um, I'm selling, you know, I'm a market woman. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Besides from the media, I still sell market. Yeah. So I worked till about 9 p.m. yesterday. And I'm here for work today. Yeah, so, I mean, I was a busy Saturday. So Saturday was crazy for me because I had four things to do. Early morning, I was, I was um, an MC for a church event, which I had made commitment to. It was a city of Zion Church. And um, uh, I had to be there in the morning. Then I also had to moderate a teen church event. Mm -hmm. But thank God, that was virtual. So I had to support the moderating. I was there. And then I had to run for the doctor. So I was telling my brother... I took a picture of the award and I said, okay, well, it's not an award. It's a degree. It's a what degree. do you mean? What are you talking about an award? <laughs> so we were honored by Powers University in yeah. USA, Delaware. Delaware, USA. And they honored uh, myself and um, Dr. BC here. <laughs> Doctorate of it. Media and Dr. Philosophy. Dr. Yeah. So, and I really appreciate it. I mean, something is an honor. I, mm. I, I, can't, I don't take it for granted. Uh, it's, it's just clear that the work we do here has been observed, mm -hmm. noticed, and then people see the need to celebrate us and honor us with such an award. So I'm grateful to the organizers for that. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. And then Thank in the you. evening, I had to go to a wedding. Oh, Only uh, you. Yes. Mm, one. <laughs> Why? And I rushed. Because it was, was he was an important person. It was, I mean, it was, so it was like family, oh, friends. Oh, and so I had, I had to go back. Cob, Ada. Meet our wedding make Cob. And I was like, it was just crazy yeah. Saturday, man. <laughs> you so, you uh, oh, Most of your weekends are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not really, Maria. I'm going to say that. Have you changed? Yesterday, I took the kids out to the movies. Went to watch um. King, um, Woman King. King. Woman King. King. Oh, yeah. That was a good movie. Oh, well, the kids were like able to watch it. it. Yes, they watched it. There was one scene with the night guy naked. <laughs> well, there was, aside from that... But there are naked was, people everywhere, so I don't think it would be my kids don't see strange those. to them. My kids don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, it was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a... It was a good movie. I think it was, it was worth watching. Yeah, I had my own small reservations, but I think it was a good movie in all. It was mm. a good movie. We'll try and watch it. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, you better address me as Dr. Moriah. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
They will stay with us very fast. <laughs> stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. Strike. Reps ASU meet over face-off with governments tomorrow. Picture here world leaders to attend Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Chinese undergoing probe for killing Nigerian lover. Hmm. PDP governors amount pressure on weekday to drop IU Moscow call. Hmm. Why Nigerians in diaspora must mobilize for Tinumbu. All aspirants to allow his school qualified, says Oyomese. Oshunpo, a delegate that meets to overvoting in six polling units. Buari in U.S. for United Nations General Assembly. And Okwebi of Jota Link Bridge, traffic diversion at Maryland Mende begins tomorrow. Chai. Yeah, and let me take that. It's a PSA, public service announcement. So mm -hmm. Lagos State um, has said it will be shutting down. It would shut down traffic at the Maryland slash Mende underpass and that would start tomorrow and it's important for us to know for especially for those of us that use that um, rule quite often and uh, Commissioner for Transportation Frederick Oladende has said that um, um, is, he's advising motorists to make use of the Ojota interchange to connect Maryland and its an environs during this period um, he says Alternative routes have had been mapped out by the state's traffic management agency to ease the movement of motorists. Um, so he gave different access routes. He said that um, for the inner streets of the access to make use of Mobology Bank Anthony to access Emmanuel, Adiribibe, Shita, and Adeoye, Adeyemi streets, <laughs> while those heading towards Mende and Environ can make use of Mende streets to link Adjosia Street and connect Oki Lane to continue their journey. And um, he also said that the repair of the section of the Lagos bound lane in the Iyano Era Badagri Expressway has been pushed, you know, to further notice. But he's asking motorists and begging for your patience and cooperation, and they're just trying to do the work that needs mm. to be done. Mm. Wow. And hopefully, this um, Okwebi or Jota Link Bridge, when completed, will bring much needed re relief to commuters and motorists. Wow, I have to be in that area on, on Thursday, on Wednesday. Goodness. All right, let's uh, take another story. Uh, yes, yeah, so ASU, we know how um, we've been. Um, Nigerian students and universities have been on strike for a very long time now and um, um, the federal government had to drag ASU to an industrial court, you know, trying to order them to get back to classes and teach the students. However, uh, the House of Representatives, uh, that uh, the Speaker, uh, Femi Bajabi Amila, has um, invited ASU for a meeting tomorrow. There's a bit of hope. They are trying to see how they can resolve the issues out of court, uh, saying that even though the matter is in court right now, it doesn't mean that uh, resolutions will stop. They will do whatever they can within their power, that they are not feeling really happy that students have been at home for over uh, eight months now. And um, as we're saying, on the other hand, that um, they will attend any meeting that they have been invited. They will attend, they will present. For this particular meeting tomorrow, they are supposed to be presenting um, a paper to talk about what their needs are and how they want it to be met. They will present it before the meeting. And they're saying that we'll attend the meeting, you call us, we'll come and speak. However, the teachers will not go back to the classroom without their needs being met. <laughs> that for over eight months they've been talking about it, the federal government hasn't done anything. So it's not when they go back to school that the federal government will do something. While they're having the meetings, the federal government needs to meet their demands before they can get back 
to the classes. Let's see how the meeting comes out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So today is the funeral of Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. uh, many world leaders were already there yesterday. Our vice president will be attending, uh, representing Nigeria and other Commonwealth nations. We're expecting about 500 leaders across the world to attend her funeral. Yesterday, they were there at the Lion State to, to see her, uh, to pay their respects to, to her remains. And um, today, by, by um, I think by, t by sometime today, um, they'll be laying her to rest, and many world leaders will be there to um, attend the funeral. Um, the vice president did express his condolence. Uh, he said that Nigeria joins the entire government and people of the UK, the Commonwealth, and the rest of the world in expressing our sincere condolence to the royal family on the passing of a monarch for all seasons. Okay, I had a little, um, I observed something. So all the international um, news stations had, mm. they were highlighting the US president, the uh, president of France, and I was like, why are they not highlighting any African leaders? After mm. all, we're the colonies themselves. <laughs> and I expected our own newspapers to sort of highlight our own African leaders. And yet, still, and still the American Oh yeah, that's France. true, Macron and Biden mm. with our papers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you should be our vice president. Yeah. Yeah. So we're still that's colonized. Yes. Wow, <laughs> mentally. Um, I want to say the story of um, INEC um, elections in your state. Adeleke, the governor-elect, is admitting that there were over voting in about six polling units. He mentioned oh. that, but he said it, was, it wasn't worth, um, it wasn't a big deal in that even if you remove those confirmed over, um, it, those um, particular number of people, about over uh, 1,800 PVCs in, in 13 polling units that were over voting, those still wouldn't make any huge difference in the election, that the current sitting governor still lost the election and that he should stop. That I think they are, they are assuming that he's, he's sponsoring some, that Zadeliki is assuming he's sponsoring some social media people to raise the, um, the information of overvoting in some polling units. So he went back to say that according to the bimodal, bimodal voting accreditation system, that's BIVAS, um, um, it is still, the election still sways to the current um, governor-elect. We're waiting for the tribunal. We're expecting that when that comes out, it will lay all these accusations to rest and people can move on with governing the states. Okay, moving on to the punch. Tax reliefs, concessions. <clears throat> FG grants 16 trillion waiver to Dangote, Honeywell and others. 22 killed in Abuja, Lagos and Ogun. Crashes, 12 hospitalized. PDP crisis worsens as BOT meets autumn for interior today. Students to ground Lagos Airport, police threaten show, show, um, showdown. Nigeria's oil production crashes to 900 barrels per day. 24 Sioux INEC alleged 7 million voters unregistered. And Atiku and Kokonso have no street credibility, says Kayamo. Okay, which story are we starting with? Uh, I have 24 Sioux INEC. So 24 Nigerians have dragged INEC um, before the court, uh, Nabuja Federal High Court, for failing to give them, this 24, and 7 million other Nigerians adequate time and opportunity to complete their voter registration after they had done the online registration. So we remember, I think last week, INEC had disclosed that over 10 million Nigerians who had done, who had completed the online registration, out of that, only about over 3 million completed the process physically and got their PVC. So that is um, about 32.8% of those who did the online registration actually completed the um, pro, um, exercise. So this group of 24 are <laughs> saying that they're asking the court to compel INEC to reactivate, the, um, to reactivate the process and have them complete their registration so that they can collect their PVC as well and also compel INEC to m provide um, more facilities and more personnel to allow for more people to complete their registration. And this was done for them by the, with the help of SERAP. So we'll see where this leads. Um, I know INEC had said they had given a time, you know, time frame, and they had extended and overextended it. But, you know, it's really w concerning, really, that we had 10 million people who had registered and only about 3 million and a, a little above um, finally got their PVCs. Mm -hmm. So okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
thing. Mm -hmm. um, there's something on the road, a bridge is yeah. coming off. I'll take a picture, a video, send it to a Citizen platform. journalist. Yes, that's what I, I would like to be able to help in that way. Okay. Is there something you can do there? Yes, yes. Like, like What's I, the handle? Like, like, I, like I said, you can send it to Lagos Street platform, mm. Twitter and everything. You get to us. Like the Citizen Gate, we have, a, we have a, 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 like a site where people can forward their observation to yeah. Lagos State Government to act. Okay. Citizen Gate, you can use that. But so send it to Lagos gate. State platform. Citizen Gate. Anything. Citizen okay. Gate. So I, 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 read, I read in the papers this morning that you're going to be closing down Mende, Maryland, access because um, of some road work. Mm -hmm. How prepared are you for are you for that? I think we are going to what based on our inspection yesterday night, we have observed that we still need to fix the boy joint on the bridge and which we have to reschedule the diversion now. Oh. I'm just passing that out now. Oh. We met yesterday night and we saw that they still need to do something on the bridge. So that will be we are, we are scheduling that. Oh, diversion. okay. So that's an update. Thank you so much. So for the that. diversion has so, been postponed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We have directly. several diversions, as in Nigeria, mm. negotiations mm. are feeling like we know the governor Dealing is working. The pain. You know, like we know it because we spend hours in the traffic <laughs> as the work is going on. But there are situations, um, Nima has raised the situation that we all have experienced where there's an accident and then it compounds. The, accident, um, the traffic okay. that we are going through, what is the response time and to accidents are that result from roadblocks, especially when it forms a risk for those of us yeah. that are driving and were stuck in traffic? Thank you very much. Actually, we are working with LASEMA and LASPA to improve our response time to evacuate incident, truck, anything mm -hmm. on the bridge, on the road generally. Especially when you are going to talk about Lomano Bridge, this mm. bridge on Lincoln, Ojuelegba, so barracks, there's always incident on that road, which we are trying to work out. But we are trying to standardize our equipment now. So that is, that before, sir? We are trying to do that now. Because we have some equipment okay. in Alausa in some locations. But we are trying to look at the traffic prone area where we have incident or breakdown, accident, so that the recovery time will be faster. We are working on that. And by the, within the next two weeks now, you'll see the difference on the road. Mm. So because response time, you know, in Lagos, the volume of vehicles on our road is so mm. much that we have to be thinking on how to... Well, I would have liked as, as, as a citizen where... So, a car broke down. I made this a possibility that last one is away. That last one official that I've seen the car break down should tweet. They do Okay, that. break down on this. It's going to ah. cause... Like, but, you know, and then have people retweet it. If they, mm -hmm. I, I know they do this sometimes, but it doesn't get to people like us. We try, we try to yeah. have an idea how... I was talking And also, so in, in cases for those who have Twitter, for example, so I know that in their broad... Sometimes there's a big signage as we're entering the express says yes, that there's a 30 minutes congestion. Mm. So you have an idea. So even if you have that mental idea that a car broke down, okay, do so I take an alternate route or you don't, you don't frustrate frustrated or calm down because we're already frustrated that there's, 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 there's traffic. Mm -hmm. Once I know it's a car that broke down, okay, 20 minutes, I'll get home. Can you put more of those digital um signages that put keeps it on the digital signages that are already around because there was a, there was God a bless that you. Had to you i had to go and sleep in bc's house because i there was so much traffic we spent two hours just trying to get through lekki toll gate apparently a trailer okay. fell in um that vi axis and we didn't know but we just knew this is unusual for us to be mm. stuck like this that, but there was a big billboard there yeah. and if you had put it there that oh um ah. break to ask to add yes. to ask that sir Topper so was coming from school and this same billboard told her Queen Elizabeth died. So the same person, <laughs> yeah. same person that had the initiative said, okay, let me put Queen Elizabeth died. She should also say, traffic go, you know, you're okay. You know, the car broke down. Because you should have a partnership with all the owners yes. of this big digital space. Like, mm. This has happened last month. Send a message to them. Kiniko has broken down. Oh, it's going to be the electric strategy. So once they have that information, as they're driving through that lucky, they know, okay, well, I have a, a congestion. Well, you asked the question. I, I didn't, I'm not sure you gave us like, a proper answer. This, um, the, diver, the diversion they want to do in Maryland, do we have, what's the, op, what's the second option for people to pass when they block that road? Because and when, when, they when, they, when the ground happens, they'll tell us that. They're still, they're still discussing. Oh, okay. No, I, apart from that, the... When you, when you read the press release, we have already created an alternative route in okay. that uh, press, release. press release. But we shed more light on the time. Okay, sir, so what do you do about um, officials who still break the laws that they put? Mm. Mm. How did we forget that one? And commanding mm. that you make laws. Thank and you, yet thank you. This is the last night, the FRSC that would break the laws. Yeah. What are you doing about that? That's right. Uh, actually, when such things happen, what you need to do is to capture it, send it to us. And we are 
taking appropriate uh, Action. measures actions against them because they are, they are meant to complement the law. Yeah. They should be the first person to obey the law. Why are they bring the law? And the law even talked about that. Even our traffic law mentioned that officers, sorry, cannot go against the law. Mm. You have to make sure that you do the right thing. So once you see that, they said it's not a committee for them to punish them. But others, you know, we have to write to the Nigerian police, Nigerian army, Navy and everything. Mm. But we are partnering with their provost. In fairness to the Lagos State Government, I have observed that when you hear those sirens, they put them to try to be It's not Lagos. Yeah, they're not going to go shoot. Mm. They're not going to quarrel. Mm. I'm always saying, I see their plate of that. I don't want to say Lagos. Because yeah. if they're from Lagos, they know we don't do that in Lagos. Because they're talking about how everybody they want to pass. We don't do this here. Now, who are these people? It's not our culture. It's not our culture in Lagos. Then, again, <laughs> again, Lagos again. Maybe I should pass this information. Yeah. It's against the law to cover your number plates. Uh -huh. Against the law, of people, yes. You know when you look at the law under Section 16 and 196, you can you, you when you are on the road, your plate number should be visible. That is your ID. When you cover it, what does it mean? You don't have a plate number. Mm. You have defaced the number plate, mm. which is Section 16, Section 15. Talk about it. So we are coming out. But I have told my men, my colleagues in the various organizations, MDAs, to go and do enlightenment to people. Mm, Let's mm. inform people. You cannot okay. cover There's your number question. plate. Yes, yeah, yeah. so um, June 29 Media says, please, um, could you help ask the guests why, why will they impound for not carrying a driver's license? You have to carry your driver's license. Why would you impound? Uh, why would you? Is it law? So the law is if you are caught you without your driver's license. Even have your photocopy with you. You can keep original at home in case oh. you want to verify. That is, that is so what gives you authority to drive. Sir, please let me just stop you there. If you have your photocopy with you, you can show them. Yes. You can show them. And it's acceptable. If yes. they are now doubting it, they cannot ask to go and bring the original. Because we have seen people who impose faces. Mm. Ah, okay. Sure. So yes. Is there any way they can? Sir, is there any way they can quickly check the data? Yes. They will show. Yes. 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 Let's show. Yes. Yes. I'm asking you to go, go and bring. bring. Once they, they check, once they check. And they can't see it. They will now see it. Who is they? Last one, they have not see them. I read that. I told you. I've seen a lot of EUs, people who try to manipulate our data. Yeah. Oh. Even our documents. Wow. We know, we, we know that the second thought government. Mm. Mm. I raised the issue bef with someone and the person was like, how can you be telling me my job? You show me your own license. You're asking me to check my, my um, data. data. And I said, I remember when this thing was launched. Um, it was Mr. Um, Sector Commander, Ben Igenius, the man that called on the show, he came on the show then and he was saying that we now have a system where on, from the phone we'll just, from your plate number, <laughs> we can, we can tell, tell everything. Yeah. if you are registered. I say, but For sir, real life. my car is registered. You have the device. You can check and verify. He said, no, I want to see your documents. I showed him. He said, where's insurance? Every registered vehicle has insurance. party insurance now. Why are we doing this to ourselves? That's can, why I was can, tempted. You can, can also verify yourself. You see, most of these insurance companies, yeah. we mm. have assisted them to be able to improve their system in place. Mm. See, most okay. people carry, like what I said, please let me go. Most of the insurance mm. policy we have, they expire the third party. Yeah. They are not in the system. Ah. Mm. Is, is that our own fault? Wow. We paid. It's because you can, that is why insurance, insurance, NIE, they have mm. insurance, Nigeria Insurance Station. They have developed their system now that you can confirm your insurance. You, sure? you get mm. your mm. test Very message fine. down. By yourself. Well, see, we have to take a step back. They have to go. Uh, 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 one one yeah. last question, uh, please. <laughs> is there a place we can go to see what the traffic law infractions are and what the adjoining yes. um, uh, uh, punishment, uh, punishment mm. is? Yes, yes. Just go to Lagos State website. Is there? Lagos State West. We are, okay. We are, even we are, we we are to trying run. to introduce something that you can. We are going to upload all this information yes. into mm. it where people can confirm the up, fines the, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Thank hey. you so hey. much True. for joining us. I mean, I, I mean, as I said, I, said, I have a friend that went to a party. He was he just he, we crossed the red light. He thought about nothing. As I was entering the Owambe party, like, he just got a green green from Lagos State Government that's been... <laughs> come back, come back, and say, he was shocked. Like, that's a smart city for you. Yeah, yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you have to break well, well, down. You have to break down. You have to break down. That's take on the show. Yeah. This morning, the week is just Thank starting. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>